you know what guys I asked on Instagram what you wanted to see from me and a few people said clean with me so here I am having a dance in my kitchen not at all looking forward to trying to clean my entire downstairs of the house in one hour can't say I've ever done this before but we're gonna give it a good go so I have my iPad I've set the timer I saw people do this on TikTok where they put like iPad in the corner. I didn't really account for the fact that that takes time for me to frame it. So first task of the day is to empty the dishwasher. This is the task that always feels a lot bigger than it is. I always don't do this. I put it off till the very last minute. As you can see behind me, there's a lot of piles of stuff. So we're reloading the dishwasher. And to be honest, even though this clip is sped up, I was whizzing round at this point. I think I unloaded and reloaded the dishwasher in like five minutes. I think that's pretty impressive. Um, so yeah, just cleaning out the bottle, wiping everything down. And I don't know if my boyfriend wanted that drink anymore, but he left it on the side, RIP. Now onto the dreaded corner, which is the coffee corner. So my boyfriend loves coffee. So all those shelves behind me, I'm not even going to touch them. I don't know what any of it means, but he's a hoarder. He's a coffee hoarder. So I just sort of neatened it up a little bit and then moved things around, wiped it. The spray I'm using is from Small. It's like a really eco-friendly surface cleaner they do bathroom cleaners and stuff too I really like it I'll link it in the description then onto the hob luckily the hob wasn't as grubby as it usually is I like having a clean hob my boyfriend on the other hand maybe not so much I feel like this video I'm gonna like really call him out a lot he's the messy one in the relationship okay <laughs> I love him dearly but his mess frustrates me. So yeah, I'm just going around, clean the top of the toaster. It's just a bit of a surface clean. I'm not like moving everything and going from scratch because that would not fit in an hour. And here I am just leisurely taking my time cleaning the top of the soap dispenser. Uh, yeah, clean the sink, wipe it. And this yellow cloth, oh my God, it's so good. I think it's a minky cloth potentially but we have like four of them and they're amazing. I end up using it pretty much around the entire house, but don't worry, I did change it. Then it's on to folding the washing, which I feel like I spend my life doing and my lovely boyfriend decided to bring in like four coats that he's been hoarding in his car. So I also just added them on top, put them all at the bottom of the stairs and that's not a problem for me. Look at Gus just eating his dinner. Like what is this crazy woman doing? I'm just trying to eat my dinner in peace. Why is she running around in circles? <laughs> he just keeps looking over at me like, what is going on? Then I turned the chairs upside down. This reminds me of being at school. Did you ever used to do that at the end of primary school? Like have to put your chairs on the tables for the cleaners. I did that. I cleared away the washing that I wasn't able to do the other day. Shook out the mat and went round with the Hoover. This is a shark uh, anti-hair wrap Hoover because, I mean, we bought it before we had the cap. I molt like a dog. Uh, my hairs are everywhere so this anti-hair wrap one is so good and I then went around with the attachment just to do the skating boards and these like bits on the table get really dusty. Then it's for this doormat. This is a washable doormat because we accidentally washed the old one. It turns out it wasn't washable so it kind of disintegrated. It's from Dunelm, highly recommend. Then hoover the kitchen it's really weird voiceover in this I feel like I'm just stating the obvious I feel like I'm doing like showing a new house this is the kitchen obviously time for a drink break clearly I thought I had the time then I'm using this like spray mop to spray and then the scrubby thing you've probably seen this on TikTok it's very satisfying um, and it's just the flora and water in that spray mop and then you sort of squeegee it off and look how disgusting that water is I was not expecting it to be quite that dirty I think it must be because this is the bit where we stand and cook and prep and as we have established already my boyfriend is a messy boy so yeah look look at that that's so gross so I soaked it up with the squirty mop again and then I'll just wash the mop head so I went round and did that and you know what I was pleasantly surprised at how clean the rest of the kitchen was it wasn't quite as grubby uh, but doing this process was very satisfying however by the end of it I had very very wet socks but yeah spraying it all this Zaflora smells so nice are you supposed to wash your floors in Zaflora I don't know but it says the word floor in it, so <laughs> we'll just go with that, shall we? So yeah, squeegeeing all that up, wiping it down, got a half an hour left, and Gus is quite concerned 
at how frantically his mum is cleaning the house. <laughs> Quickly exits stage left. <laughs> Then I'm mopping under the table, making sure I don't miss any. At this point, I couldn't be bothered to scrub it with the brush. So honestly, I was pretending at this point. Um, then once we did the kitchen, it was time to put the chairs back down and did the table. I could have moved that runner, but again, we were pushed for time. And actually the camera died. So I had to pause the clock, have a breather, and I set it off going again at 25 minutes. That's the dead battery there on the table. Why did I press go before I had the drink? Wasting valuable seconds here. So I took all the cushions off the sofa and flipped them over. You're supposed to flip these like once a week. We definitely do not do that. And again, I didn't bother hoovering it because it wasn't, it didn't look mucky to me. So just put the cushions back on, fanned myself because I was melting. Then it's time to go into Gus's corner and he could hear me. Uh, I shouted him because I found a packet of dreamies, their catnip dreamies. So this sent him absolutely bonkers, but here he is being the supportive boy he is. Gave him a little pile of treats although it should be me eating the treats, not him, but you know, we love him anyway. So that's Gus's corner sorted out. He's <laughs> again looking at me like, mum, are you okay? Then onto the next sofa. Now this spot on the left, the gray blanket, that is where Gus sleeps. This is basically his blanket. So it's very furry. Um, I actually decided to hoover that corner because you could see cat hairs on it. So I got the hoover out, hoovered all that, flipped the cushions over and put it all back together pretty much. Uh, again, don't do this nearly as often as I should, but it is what it is. And you know what? Talking of the cat, whilst I'm recording this, he is jumping on things in my office that he shouldn't be. Then I hoovered this table because Gus has been digging in the plant. I put the plant on the windowsill because it was looking sad and momentarily debated pulling off the dead leaves and then realised I didn't have the time. So I didn't do that. Now onto the coffee table. Let's just ignore the mess underneath. That's a job for another day. I'm just surface cleaning everything. I sprayed it down with the small thing, wiped it, put the terrarium back, and then I did the same on the TV stand and the windowsill. Uh, I always have like my cereal bowl up on the windowsill, so there was some marks on it. So I definitely needed to get that off. Then I discovered a dead plant. She's looking sorry for herself. I went down and dusted this shelf with like the little miniature houses on and then to the corner of doom. It is my crochet corner. I have a problem. That orange pile of wool is eventually gonna be a bed for the cat. Uh, crazy cat lady, you know how it is, but we tidied that up because it always gets very messy, but I do use it every night pretty much. So I feel like that's sort of validated. Validated? I don't know, it's acceptable. Now it's on to Hoover in the living room. The carpet mode on this Hoover is incredible. Gus, once again, not amused. So I went around the entire table again, didn't bother lifting anything up and wait for the moment where I hoover up a piece of jigsaw puzzle and I was absolutely gutted. So I paused the timer. <laughs> Look at the shock on my face. This jigsaw has been haunting me and I just hoovered up this piece. So I had to go in and scavenge for it before it sunk too far and ended up in the bin. We rescued the jigsaw, <laughs> put it all back together, pressed start, tried again. It was a very traumatic moment. In fact, my boyfriend shouted downstairs, is everything okay? Because he sensed the stress in me. <laughs> so I did that, then went into the ensuite. I think I had like five minutes left or something. So I very, very quickly just sort of dusted everything. With the same cleaner, I did manage to shout and ask for the toilet cleaner. So honestly, never in my life, I thought I'd film myself cleaning a toilet, but here I am with one and a half minutes left. She was frantic. She's kicking things out the way. And I just whizzed around with a hoover. I thought, right, I've got a minute. Why am I going so leisurely slow, by the way? I whizzed around, did this doormat. Um, and again, with the carpet wizard thing on this Hoover, amazing. And the timer is going here, but I just desperately needed to do the skating board. So I ignored it. We accounted for the times I had drinks or was moving the camera in my timer. And I did the skating boards and deep breath, <laughs> she did it. I was exhausted. You see me looking around contemplating my life decisions. The only thing I really missed was this. So I just went round with a little microfiber and dusted it. But I'm pretty impressed other than the bits of stuff that I left on the side after running around like a mad woman. I'm very happy with how it turns out. The 
kitchen floor is still wet everything's clean need to put these cloths in the wash see already used two and there we are I did the speed clean the house felt amazing I've got a candle lit now and it feels so good highly recommend doing this yourself by the way